So in my last video, I talked about my study process, start to finish, how I study in dental school. And this sparked up a lot of conversations in the comment sections about Anki, the study app that I use every single day. So first off, thank you if you watched that video and thank you for commenting, of course, and letting me know what you think about all of it. But I wanted to continue to create a good series of Anki videos on this YouTube channel where I show you how I particularly use Anki. And one question I got in the last video and that I've received in the past as well is what is Frozen Fields and why do you use it? And it's funny because when I started using Anki, I think I was watching like a Rachel Southerd video and she was talking about the essential add-ons to use for Anki. And one of the things that she was talking about was frozen fields. And I was like, I don't understand what is the point of that add-on. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I do with frozen fields. And I'm gonna tell you why I think frozen fields is an essential add-on for anyone who's making Anki cards and studying them. <laughs> I explain all that, I'm gonna show you how to add the Frozen Fields add-on to your Anki. So if you wanna skip that and you know how to do it or you already have it, uh, use the chapters below. All right, so step one of this process is to find your way to the main page of your Anki. And then what we're gonna do is head up to this tools section up here, and we're gonna find what says add-ons. Click that, and this will pop up here. You can see all the add-ons that I have right here. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is click get add-ons. And this little guy will pop up, and you're gonna paste in this code. So that is the code that you wanna put into this blank and then hit okay. Once you hit okay, Anki will add frozen fields to your system. All you have to do then is to cancel out, uh, exit out of Anki and then restart it. And that will allow you to use frozen fields on all of your different card types. So now comes the addition process of adding cards and using frozen fields. If you've added this add-on successfully, what you'll find is when you go into any add interface of any card type, and this is the card type that I tend to use, it is a, uh, it's the close on King Master. So this is closed elites. But what you'll see is you'll see these frozen uh, little snowflakes on the side of each of your text fields. And these are actually the frozen fields add on in action. So here's what I like to actually do with frozen fields. Here's how I actually use it. Let's say I am working from a PowerPoint from a teacher and this is the slide that they've given us. The first thing that I'm gonna do when I approach any slide is I'm gonna hit Control, Shift, Command, and four. And that uh, combination of keys on the Mac is going to give me the option to take a screenshot. So then I can take this screenshot, and now that screenshot is going to be copied into the clipboard of the computer. It's essentially like hitting Command C when you've selected some text, and it copies this picture over uh, to your computer. So what you can then do is come back over to your ad interface and hit Command V, and that will paste this picture of the slide into your extra portion of the card. What I then do is select this frozen field. So I freeze what is in this box. Freezing what is in one of these boxes, what it does is it essentially allows you to create multiple cards without losing the input from any of the boxes. So if I wanna make multiple cards from this slide, which I would when, I, when I'm making cards, I can freeze this field and I can have this slide and all the information on it applied to each of the cards that I make for this topic. So now I've added in what I would typically do to make a card here. And the question is what causes the pathologic changes associated with a stroke, which you can see is the first bullet point right here. And then I have my answer. And the reason that this is nice is because when I make this card and I go to study it, I will, all I'll see is the question and nothing else. It won't be until I hit the space bar to reveal the answer that I get this image that's giving me you know, a nice picture of what a stroke would look like in an autopsy with this image. And then also I can see the aneurysm of the middle cerebral artery in this image. So basically what this is allowing me to do is when I have my cards and I'm studying them, not only do I get the information from the card itself, but I also get all this information from the slide uh, where I made this card from originally. And this is really important because sometimes you'll be studying cards and you'll go through one and get it wrong and you kind of have no context or no idea what the card is actually asking you. So having the full slide at your disposal is really easy. And Frozen Fields makes this possible because when you then add this card, for example, you can very easily go on to the next bullet point here about cerebral infarctions and you can add a card about that without having to worry about this picture leaving your card. It also kind of makes it easy because you don't have to flip back and forth between your PowerPoint as much. You just have the PowerPoint slide here and you can make as many cards as you need for that slide. 
and then you're good to go move on to the next one. So that is how I would use this Frozen Fields add-on for the extra portion of the card, but how could I possibly use it for the text portion of the card, which is where we, of course, add in what comes up uh, when we see the card initially. And so I have a good example of this here. This particular piece of information is talking about autoimmune diseases. And what they do is they give us this big uh, bullet point of a bunch of information. And then they give us these two different types of tolerance. One is central and one is peripheral. So if I was making cards and I just basically put in central tolerance, close delete that occurs in the thymus or bone marrow, that would not be enough context to, to allow me to answer this card. So what I would wanna do is basically copy and paste this entire section right here and then put that in the text and then below it, I could put my central tolerance and the rest of it and answer the question that way. So let me show you instead of telling you. So here's what the card looks like once I've added it. I basically copy and pasted this whole section and put it in italics to kind of make it stand out. And then I hit uh, return and I make some space and I put in the rest of this. So peripheral tolerance occurs in circulation and there is my close delete. And the reason why I would use frozen fields here is I would freeze this field, the text field, so that when I entered the card, I could then go back in and simply erase this portion and then type in central tolerance and do the other card without having to essentially re-copy and paste that whole intro portion. So these are two ways that I use frozen fields when I'm making my Anki cards. And you might be thinking this seems pretty inconsequential. Uh, this seems like it wouldn't really matter all that much, but what this really does is saves you time. And I made an entire video about how to save time when you're using Anki. And there was a couple tips that I talked about in that video. I actually talked about frozen fields as well, but really when it comes to Anki, the only downside that I've ever seen is the fact that you really have to spend a lot of time when it comes to making cards. Making cards is a time consuming process. I look at that as a positive though. I think it's good for us to expose ourselves to the information as much as possible. And the process of actually sitting down and making cards is that first initial exposure to the information. But little things like frozen fields that can help us save time and give us more information and more context to make our cards actually better those are really positive things and they're gonna positively impact the way that we study. So that's how you use Frozen Fields. That's what it does. And once again, give this a try. It's a really easy add-on to, to add and to start using and it really makes a difference. My Anki cards are so much better since I started using Frozen Fields on each one of them. If you look at my first cards that I started making like months ago when I first started using Anki, there was no context. There was no extra information. What you saw was what you got and that was it. But now my cards are built out. A lot of them have extra images that I find online. If I see a disease like systemic lupus erythematosus, for example, I can then go on to Google, find like a little card or image or just a, a little diagram that shows some information about it. I can copy that and paste it in and then I can freeze my field and add that to as many cards as I need to when I'm talking about that disease. And it really just helps give my cards context once again and give them more information so that when I'm sitting here and I'm studying thousands of cards at a time, I have this extra information to help me out. So my friends, that is how I use frozen fields for my Anki. It's how I make my Anki cards better and it's how I'm able to more effectively study. It plays into this whole discussion that I'm currently having about my studying in dental school. And if you enjoyed this video, Video, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear from each and every one of you. And of course, like the video if you enjoyed it. I always appreciate hearing from each of you. And like I said in the last video, a lot of my video ideas stem from your comments. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you wanna see in the future and I'm gonna continue making all of these videos. I just finished a major exam this morning actually, so I'm gonna have a little bit of time here to create some content and I'm excited about it. But make sure you're checking out the other videos that I've posted recently. I think I've got some pretty good bangers that I've put up in the last like week or two. So check those out and also stay tuned for the future of what's coming out because I'm super, super excited. And a quick note, a quick housekeeping thing for the channel. I am doing a giveaway at 4,000 subscribers. This morning I hit 3,400, so really, really close to that 4,000 subscriber mark. And in that giveaway, I will be giving away an entire free set of Janu scrubs. If you've never heard of them, they're extremely quality, nice scrubs. And I'll be giving away a free pair to one of you when we hit 4,000 subscribers. Of course, there will be a whole video covering that and we'll, I'll show you the rules and everything, but I'm really, really excited about that and I've been working on getting that together. Uh, so make sure that you subscribe and tell your friends about the channel so that we can get to 4,000 and so that somebody can get a free pair of scrubs. But that's it for me. I've taken up enough of your time. I will see you in the next video.